why does the Uluru Statement ask for a First Nations voice, so essentially an Indigenous advisory body that would be empowered to provide advice, Indigenous input on laws and policies made about Indigenous affairs. Why does that need to be in the Constitution? Well, because legislative um, justice can be undone. So look what happened with the Native Title Act that was enacted after the Mabo decision a um, few years later when the Liberal government got in under John Howard, he enacted the WIC 10-point plan, which really watered down the Native Title Act. Indigenous people for decades and decades, since the 1920s, probably long before, have been calling for structural and constitutional reform to enable their self-determination, their empowerment, to enable their voices to be heard when governments make laws and policies about them. Okay.